on our cbd for you.net hotline we have wwe superstar elias how you doing my brother Hello, I am Elias, and I am doing fantastic. How are you? I am doing great. Let's start off with WrestleMania 34 in New Orleans. I got to tell you, brother, when those lights went out and everybody was expecting Taker and you came out, that was gold. Yeah. yeah. Absolute yeah, I, gold. I, you know what? I thought it'd be a nice treat if I threw everybody off. They were all expecting Undertaker. And guess what? Here comes Elias. And I've got a song to sing. So uh, for me, what a moment. What a moment in life. So for everybody else, it had to have been great. That's right. WWE's Modern Day Bob Dylan. We have Elias with us on the line, the cbd for unet hotline. So after that, you and John, you get tangled up in the ring. He kicks your guitar out the ring. And I know about guitar players. When I saw that, the first thing I thought, oh, my God, he just kicked Elias's guitar. Did you know that happened? Right, right. Well, I ended up finding out about that later. I was dealing with some other stuff at the time. But uh, I saw that he did that. I saw a replay of it. Now, Undertaker took care of John Cena on that night. And I haven't seen John Cena since, but I can tell you this. I will not forget the fact that he kicked my guitar out of the ring of WrestleMania. No, no, no. That's your baby. Yeah. The next night at Raw... Dude, I love it how you gave it to New Orleans. I have no love for New Orleans as well, to be honest with you. And I was just eating it up the way that you were just trashing the fans in the city over there. It was awesome, dude. Now, let's talk about Lake Charles. Now, I know you've been to New Orleans. Is this your first time in the Chuck? It will be my first time in Lake Charles. Yes, sir. Awesome. Now, hey, look, you're a fit dude. I know you watch what you eat. But tell me, when you come to Louisiana, what is the cuisine you're splurging on? Listen, I, I, here's the thing, man. I get into town, and I start to take in the scene. I start to take in the vibe. And this is where a lot of my, my song inspiration comes from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around Lake Charles, and if not too many people are asking for autographs or pictures, I'll test out some of the local food, okay? Uh, I don't know what that's going to be yet because I haven't been there. But I can tell you this, uh, however that experience goes is what's going to influence my song later that night. Awesome. We are talking with WWE superstar, the drifter, Elias, here on the cbd for unet hotline. The big show is going down this Sunday. Doors open 6 p.m. Uh, event starts at 7 p.m. Now, you are challenging for the Intercontinental Championship. What do you have in store for Seth Rollins? That's right. Well, listen, I, I showed a little bit of what I got in store for Seth on Monday. He, he interrupted me, okay, and I am, I'm just, I've had enough of people doing that, all right? All I want to do is perform. I want to finish my song, I want to do my thing and get out of there, but Seth wants to interrupt, so guess what? I smacked him with my guitar. And if that's not enough, I've got more for him on Sunday night, and if I could take the Intercontinental title with me, even better. That's right, I may see a halo bomb in his future, huh? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Well, Elias, man, thank you so much for spending your time with us. Now, let me ask you this. You're on the road a lot. What is, because I know you went to New Orleans and it, you, you played in a bar over there. What is your favorite like like venue to play? Are you looking for like a little dive bar? Or are you looking for a hard rock? What, like if, if you're like, man, I'm going to walk in there and I'm going to strum it out and I'm going to perform for these people. What kind of place are you looking for? Well, listen, man, at this point in my life, you know, I, I was drifting around for a long period of time, but now I am the biggest musical act on the face of this planet. So only arenas that are fitting for the biggest musical act on the face of the planet are what I'm looking for. So I want the big ones, man. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at stadiums, okay? That's what I'm thinking. But for me, you know, big arenas, Madison Square Garden, things like that, that's where I think Elias belongs. So if I got to deal with Lake Charles on Sunday... I'll do it, but uh, I could already tell you I ain't that happy about it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, I can tell you from experience, Lake Charles is ready to walk with Elias. Well, we'll find out. We will find out. All right, man. Good luck on your Intercontinental Championship match. And as they say in showbiz, break a leg, man. Ah, thank you. I'll see you there. All right, bud. Have a great day. You too.